Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to modify an old Canon FDM lens to use it with new EOS cameras. This lens is a 50mm f1.4 Canon FDM lens, a really good quality lens made in Japan. Its price is around 50 US dollars. The problem with these lenses is that the distance of the mount and the camera sensor is shorter than the actual EF lenses, so you cannot use an adapter without a correction glass that degrades the image quality. With this modification, we'll be able to focus to infinity without a correction glass. For this, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, an FDN to AF mount, and one of these aperture arms. You can follow the links in the description below to get these pieces. Depending on your lens, you need to choose one of those, we will see which one fits better for your lens later. Remove the rear cap of the lens. You need to press the silver bottom and thunder cap anti-clockwise. You can use this cap to store the screws. Identify the true side screws of the mounts and remove them. Now you can remove the silver mount ring. Use your screwdriver to lift the ring and remove it. Now you can see the aperture mechanism. Turn this mechanism clockwise until you hear a click of the silver bottom and take this piece apart. Now you can see the base of the mount. This base is held by three screws. Remember the position of these screws before remove them. We will need them later. You can see the aluminum ring inside. This ring controls the aperture and may vary depending on the lens you are modifying. The second arm, option B, fits in the pin of the aluminum aperture ring and the two posts that control the blades. You can locate it to control the aperture. And the first arm, option A, works without the aluminum aperture ring. To remove it, turn the aperture to f8. Notice that the aluminum ring has a little gap and the aperture black ring has a little tap. That both now match and you can remove the aluminum ring. After remove it, go back to f22. This aperture arm fits in the bump of the black aperture ring and the two posts that control the blades. And now you can control the aperture too. I designed these two types of arm just to have two options depending on the lens you're trying to modify. If you want to declick the aperture mechanism, turn to f1.4 and you heard a click sound. Be careful in order not to lose a little cylinder under the aperture ring. As you notice, the cylinder is the part that makes the steps of the aperture mechanism. Remove the little metal cylinder to click the aperture. Relocate the aperture ring by pressing the bottom and turning anticlockwise the ring. Now locate the aperture arm and locate the new mount. Use the screws in the same order you remove them. Locate them and tie them up. And it's done. 
you can use now the lens with the new FDN to AF mount. Consider what I said before. This modification needs to move the rear optic inwards to correct the focus distance between the optics and the sensor. So the mirror of a full frame camera may collide if the lens is focused to infinity. But for APS-C cameras it's perfect. It may be not so useful for pictures in a full frame camera, but it is a useful and beautiful lens for video. Remember to put the lens in the minimum focus distance before turning the camera on. This collision does not happen on all the FDN lenses, as other lenses have their rear optics outwards than others. I also modify a 100mm f2.8 FDN Canon lens, and I use it the second on, option B, because the distance of the two posts that control the blades it was larger, and I can use it with my Canon 60 without mirror collisions. But for APS-C cameras it's perfect, as the mirror is smaller than a mirror of a full frame camera. Feel free to ask me related questions in the comment section below. I leave you with test pictures.